year, TEDx at UW-Madison hosts an event with speakers of all backgrounds, ages, and professions. This year, actor AJ Carr was the youngest of the selected speakers at only 14 years old. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? How many of you did ask that in your lifetime? Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> so, I've been asked that question uh, a lot, probably like maybe every other day. <laughs> um, and personally, I've never really liked that question. Um, I could never really understand why someone would ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? Why do I have to want to be one thing when I get to that point? And when I get to that point, why do I have to be growing up to do it? So, um, I, I, I figure that more people should be saying, what do you want to do now? And when I heard that I actually got in, I was like real excited. So, um, yeah, like I said before, I, I watch these all the time. So it was just like a pleasure to me for to be able to like do it and have people watch it. I think the most exciting part obviously is getting to see the event on the day of and seeing just things we've been working on since spring semester of last year. Us two co-presidents and the speaker liaison work together to pick our top choices for eight speakers and then working together we finalize the eight speakers based on that because we've had like we got like 15 applications and we picked eight because they're all so different and I love all of them, but obviously AJ Cars was just really moving. I don't know what I was doing at 14, but it was not that. My whole life was basically, if you look at it statistics, I was supposed to fail. So I, I just kind of realized that I had to think outside of the box, outside of the box to really um, beat that stereotype. And that's really what I, how I came up with the speech today, just thinking about that, you know? That it was a great experience, you know, being able to speak and uh, just to thank the TED Talk people. I don't know exactly who that is, but the people for like accepting me because it's not normal to see like a black kid with like no suit on, like crazy hair, come up and speak about life and inspiration, you know, so I really appreciate it.